All right, so it's time to set up our project. So create a new project, go to .NET Core, and we'll create ASP.NET Core web application. And give it a name, and I'll simply call it Comedy Events. You can create a Git repository if that's how you want your versioning done. It doesn't really matter, this is a fairly simple project. And let's just click OK. Alright, so we want empty project. You could use one of the templates, but since this is a tutorial, I want to start from an empty project so you can see step by step how this is working. And we don't need HTTPS, so I'm going to uncheck that. And make sure that you have selected ASP.NET Core 2.2. And then click OK. And the project has been created. And as you can see, all we have here is just a startup file, program.cs, and a JSON file. So let's open startup.cs. And here we can start configuring our project. And the first thing we want to do is to add a service that makes this application to be MVC. And to do that, we'll go to Configure Services. And you can see that it's using iServiceCollection with the variable name services. So when we type services dot, you can see all these services that can be added to the project. That's the thing with .NET Core. This is very modular. You have to add what you need unless you create the project from a template and that would already have some of these services incorporated. But we don't have any and the one we want is to add MVC. Simple as that. However, since we are using version 2.2 of the .NET Core, I want to set this as a compatibility version. Because we'll be maybe using some aspects of .NET Core 2.2 that are not available in the previous versions. So to make sure that the correct compatibility is set, I'm going to set it manually. So after we add the MVC, I'll use dot and then set compatibility version. And the version I want is 2.2, so we'll use Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC compatibility version, and then dot, and here are all the versions available, and we want version 2.2. So now our project is MVC ready for .NET Core 2.2. So this is in Configure Services, but configure method is the one that is going to be called at runtime. So we have to set up MVC as well here. So instead of displaying hello world, I'm just going to comment this out. And we're going to use app.use MVC. So here we configure the MVC and here in the runtime, it will actually use the MVC calling the configure method. And of course the app variable is the iApplication Builder. So again, similar to services, it's modular. If I go app dot, you can see again, all these things that you can use in your project. So we want the MVC only. So our app is set up for MVC version 2.2 of the .NET Core. And next, we can start setting up our models.